you got to sweat bullets as you talk to the Lord. This, this ain't the Santa Claus thing where you make your Christmas list, put it in the mail, and pretend it's going to the North Pole. You got to have a relationship with God. And, but this woman, she kept pressing on and calling out and following them for a love of it too. She refused to take no for an answer. Believe you that Jesus was the solution for her problem. And I'm asking you today to think about it. What a model for persistence. What a model for being steadfast, unmovable, always abounding. What a model for patience and endurance. What a model for commitment. What if we were to exercise that kind of faith? What if the church would reach up toward the heaven and keep reaching and calling on God until we get an answer? I need more than a few prayers a week or a month or a few years. If we would just hold on and trust God. What are you saying, preacher? I'm saying, how long? How long? How long are you willing to cry out for God on the behalf of somebody you love? How long are you able to lift up the people that you care the most about? How long will you stay on your face before God Almighty, knocking and asking and seeking? I don't mean five minutes, 30 minutes, an hour. The point is, if you want to receive anything from God, we need to ask and keep asking. Seek and keep seeking. Knock until the answer comes, however long it takes. And even though Jesus stopped and heard her three feet for mercy, and deliverance from her door. And prayer wasn't immediately answered. In fact, Jesus said, No, I won't do it. And after coming such a long way, after explaining the situation, Jesus said, No. And not only did he tell her, No, listen to this now. He called her a virgin daughter. Woman, no. Mother, no. It is not right to take the children in with the bread and talk to the dead God. This wasn't some demon calling her. This was the very Son of God saying, No, I'm not going to answer your prayer because I came to feed the children of Israel, not their God. Yeah. Somebody missed that. And in the face of all this, this woman had to face not to strike somebody else. Oh,